<coughs> ah, excuse me. Uh, alrighty, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to our mega base. We are going to be doing some stuff here. We are at Green Circuits, and as you can see, iron is pretty stable. Uh, it's the copper that has the problem. You can see it empty out all the copper here from this train and not storing any of it in the warehouse, but we've got 8.4K in the warehouse and we've got another train coming to stick some more iron in the system. It's taken some stuff up now because it needs it because of the copper. Did I put some more robots? No, I didn't put some more robots in here. I put 2,000 more in some other place. I can't remember, but anyway... This plate now has a crap ton of iron. And if we go back to Mr. Iron Plate, both of these train stations are full and ready to go. Where are you getting... Okay. Oh, here we go. There's another one putting iron into green circuit. So this is absolutely fine. Iron is going through, has no problems. Both of these stations full. So I did add another one, and it is always full, which is awesome. And look at that. We've... If we have a look at the logistics network, we've got 10k backup behind the stuff that's in the station. So very, very nice stuff. Uh, yes, and it sucks, gets sucked down to about 3k or so. And then just gradually, just boom, look at that. 6.2, 7.8. That's how fast it's being generated. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we have a look. Yeah, 900 in the past five seconds about the same as copper but of course we need a lot more copper so copper is continuously still no it, this one's being demand this one's not quite so we're not quite filling those guys up which we definitely want to do because my main problem is red circuits are slow as and is plastic and green circuits are letting this entire system down and we need to get those going because base 1.5 is out of red circuits and blue circuits and blue circuits are, of course, actually, they're waiting for green circuits. I was expecting them to be waiting for red circuits, but they're waiting for green circuits. There is something wrong here. Oh, never mind. That's sulfuric acid. I got confused there for a sec. Okay, so that's green circuits. So green circuits are not on the way, but hopefully in a little while, one of these stations will start sending green circuits over to blue circuits. Come on, guys. Anyway, so what we've done, uh, we've also done a little bit of an update to this system, which is working now, but we also put a little bit of a feeder in here. So 100, 400 is all we're crafting. I, I think we need more than five. We need four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make it six at this point. So you are 512. Let's make it 600. Let's not go overboard because these guys are sucking up red circuits. And we don't want to suck all the red circuits up. We want to leave some of them for the speed modules, which are arguably more important. So first things first, we're going to start working on Mr. Copper. Now, I believe all of these guys have got their beacons already, so I don't have to worry about them stealing beacons off me. What we're going to do is we're going to be fixing this up. Now, we've got power poles already, so I'm going to remove all of the rows that don't have the power poles. And then we're going to put beacons in those rows. And then we're also going to put speed, uh, we're also going to put speed modules on the, uh, on the miners and on the beacons. Hold on. Alrighty, just a family phone call sort of deal. Uh, there we go. And moving some stuff around. Getting that out of the way. Getting that out of the way. Beautiful. And this one is actually right next to this beacon. Actually reaches it from there. So that'll get a little bit of extra speed for that guy. So now, what we need to do is... I'm just going to leave... I might put some speed modules on top. You know what? Actually, we'll delete those and get some speed modules because that'll help these guys a bit more. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all of my efforts into copper for now. And the way we do these beacons, we do a row like this, close as we can. 
And what I usually do for beacons is, if a beacon only hits one miner, then it gets tossed. If it hits two miners, then it is golden. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to yank all these guys out. I am in range of the, bloody, that's not what I wanted to do. I do not want to start putting them in the smelting setup yet. There we go. And we also want to put some of them, being careful not to go over the bloody chest in the middle. And then we go here. I won't fill in all of the uh, all of the what should we call it? I won't fill in all of the miners with speed modules yet because I still want some speed modules left to fill up the smelting area. So you I got plenty of those. There you go. How many of these guys I got left? Uh, still a pretty decent amount. So you are too far away. You are too far away. Okay. Let's just keep putting them down like so. And we'll put one more row down. And that should get us more than enough little guys. And what I'll actually do is I'll fill in all of these miners. And I think all of the next row as well. Jeez, I still got a lot actually. Why are you not filling in these beacons? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put half and then half in here. I'm going to save those for plastic because plastic is in a bit of trouble. And then I'm going to go in the middle and just whoosh everywhere. Productivity modules down, speed modules down. Just go nuts, filling them in wherever I can. And hopefully the combination of those two things will allow us to really, really boost up a lot of stuff. Yeah, let's just sit there. It's really pushing down. Okay, I think that's quite enough. Let's go back and let's put some more beacons up here. There, 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 there. You're not filling in? Has my blueprint not got the things on it? I don't think my blueprint has the things on it. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Let's get rid of you guys. Get rid of need the blueprint to have the things on it. Okay. Uh, no, I could move this row report around to make real room for this guy, but I'm not going to worry about it. Speed modules, thank you very much. You are... Oh no, actually that one was right. That one was okay. That one needs to go, that one needs to go, that one's all right, that one needs to go, that one needs to go, that one's all right. Okay, only one, two, only one, only one. This guy and everything to the left of it, yes, absolutely go. And this guy and everything to the left of it can absolutely go. Now, you need a power pole as well. I feel like some of these are not actually running. We need to get, fill in some more miners. Seventy-two left, so we just put a couple of beacons down here. You can go, and you're good. We've got enough speed modules left for these. We should have. 
Just waiting for these guys to fill them in. Come on, robots. There we go. It seems to be some sort of delay for that stuff. Uh, I could fix this up, but I'm not going to. This has been fully done at the moment. So let's just run on down and fill in some more stuff here. And that should take care of our copper problems for some time. Quite a, quite a bit of time, actually. Productivity modules. They're going to get more productivity modules. So if we go to a place like this, which is... This might actually go slower. Let's go at least one speed beacon. Here we go, down here. So these guys are actually going to go slower. Because they've got productivity, but they don't have any surrounding speed modules. Oh, somehow, no, some of them do. Some of them do. You are going to be slow. But nobody's using you anyway, so I don't think it matters. All right, let's have a look at the results. Yep. 12k back up. Station's worth full. Nice. Very, 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 very nice. I think we have successfully fixed our copper situation for now. Green circuits. Both of these are full. Although these are probably just the, the bits. And... Then it'll just come to maybe um, filling this up. Although I don't feel like putting speed modules, uh, productivity modules on these guys yet, because that's going to be over the top. So let's go back down to copper. Let's go up here. Where's that chest full of extremely crazy modules? So we got plastic. Well, don't want to put them in there. I want to put them in here. So all of these guys. This is where our bottleneck is right now. All of these refineries. So they absolutely need to get a crap load of speed modules in them. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. That's what I'm talking about. So I've got double rows of speed modules on these guys just so they can really get their shit together. Haven't done up here yet. All right, let's let that go. We're going to have enough speed modules. Uh, we might have enough speed modules. Uh, I don't think we're going to need to upgrade stuff like the coal mining or anything like that. I think that's going to be absolutely fine by itself. Now, we've got a little bit of these guys. We definitely do not want to use them where we don't need to use them. So let's put them back. And then let's go over and let's analyze what we saw. So plastic, that's going to upgrade that by a ton. We could put modules here. I don't think we're going to though. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this. Absolutely just duplicate it like that. And what we might have to, what we might want to do as well is duplicate light oil cracking. Because I have a feeling that light oil cracking and need some love. Yeah, 2.1k light oil barrels. It used to be 1.7 when I was looking at this a little while ago, and now it's 2.1. So that definitely tells me that we need more light oil cracking. It's because we're just we've got too much heavy oil that we happen to be cracking at the moment. Okay, let's get a bit of those. All right, so let's get another light oil cracking thing. Uh, we can just continue to put it up in rows like this. Da. One, two, three, four. Enough room for one of you guys and one of you guys. And somehow we need a pole here as well. I, I, I'm so so nuts how this bloody little gap here it seems so little but a power pole can't stretch across it so there we go so that should only a thousand logistic slots here i feel like this guy is big enough that he needs more logistic spots so let's have a look anyway petroleum we're still light on we're good on heavy oil water barrels we're light on okay we got eight of these damn things running. We're still light on water. That's probably from all the cracking 
trying to backfill all the cracking uh, bits I just did with water barrels. But yeah, because that one's 50. Almost, almost done. Hopefully that'll clear up afterwards. Or maybe it won't. We may need to put speed modules on the uh, on the barreling, uh, barreling things. See, this guy has speed modules. That must have been part of the blueprint. Not sure if they really need speed modules anymore. But we'll give it to them because... I mean, if you have a look here, uh, auto save. Have a look here. It is running pretty freaking quick. Like that is using up water pretty freaking quick. And of course, this has been mathed out in my old mega base, so I assume it's fine. But yes, if we have a look at fluids, petroleum. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, how? Why did it go down again? That's interesting. That's very interesting. Um. It was red. Consumption of petroleum went up by a bunch. Maybe it went down when I built light oil. That doesn't make sense. That does not make sense at all. Anyway, I think we might be done here. Uh, how much? How long was the previous snippet that I cut off? Because this, this is seeming like a bit of a short episode. Four minutes, and then we've got 12 minutes here. So that's about 17 minutes so far. Uh, we should really be doing more stuff, but the problem is we really need more stuff to be happening. See, this guy is just not getting enough petroleum. When he gets it, though, because of those speed modules, he just runs through that crap so fast. Okay, so we fixed up petroleum by a fair bit. No modules missing up here. All of these guys look pretty solid. Uh, coal, still in the positives. Not sure if it'll stay like that forever, but it's in the positives right now. Light oil, water. Water, I think. Huh. You know what? Let's Let's get some of these. It will chuck some of them in lubricant, but that's fine. There we go. Okay, so now water instantly is in the positives. Instantly. Of course, we're sucking down water like you would not believe. Where's the water train going? Uh, plastic. It's only just getting there. Well, there we go. Should have filled up pretty quickly. Now, this is the problem with only having a single water train um, for this. It might not use it. might not be able to supply it fast enough. So, we may have to have a second water train, which is still fine because we can just have a second water train sitting in the waiting area to go right in behind the first water train. So, that... All right. So, we're going to sit back and we're going to analyze this to see how fast the water gets sucked down because well we're empty we're completely empty so i think it's pretty much a uh, i think it's pretty much a no brainer that we need a second train so let's let's go ahead and do that uh, i got enough water wagons don't i and two and then four one two three four and then I love this station. Look at that. These guys were all not quite full, but there they go. They're full. Absolutely full already. That's just amazing. Okay. Go to... Where's the other one? Goes to water and then goes to plastic. I just wanted to check which order. Not that the order really matters, but... Supply water until you're full. And then go to plastic until you're empty. And now we go to manual. And if we have a look, Mr. Plastic, it dumped it off and it's already sucking it down. So that train has already completely emptied itself. Yeah, it's already going back to water supply. So that could be, maybe two trains isn't enough either because we'll have to see though. We'll have to see. But yeah, if we need a continuous cycle of three trains just for plastic. I mean, if that's how it is, that's how it is. 
That's fine. I mean, sulfur acid seems to be okay. Seems to be not dying in the ass. Oh, that's this one. This one's fine. Uh -huh. So we're going to sit here. We're going to let this train empty itself. And then we're going to watch it. And if the barrel's empty before the next train shows up, then we know that we need a third train. So this is going to be instantly. Well, not instantly, because there's only two barrels. So it actually... But look at that. One, a thousand per second. That's how much we're filling up. Water, we've got 187. So we're slowly getting enough water. These guys are backed up already. Oh, that's the problem with the uh, logistics network. Is they're only taking stuff off the front, which means it's going to be harder to get the back ones done. But we do have this little sharing pipe, and the sharing pipe will slowly move water um, over. Okay, so are you are you my next water? You are my next water train. Okay, so he's a, we seem to have reached some sort of equilibrium where the amount of water we've got in these storages is enough to keep the base going. So we'll stay with two trains. We'll stay with two trains for now. What? You're at 16k and you're not being used? Are you serious? What is going on here? Uh, oh, look at all these trains going. We got six. We had seven for a second. Uh, I can't see anything transporting plastic because of course nothing is. So plastic has been fixed. Copper plate has been fixed. Green circuits has still running out of copper. So we don't need to increase these machines, but there we go. There's some copper plate. I don't feel like we're really ever backing up on copper still. It's just that we're finally reaching the uh, full potential of these guys. And this is still lit, so there's another train on the way. Instantly, that pretty much instantly used that stuff up. It's just like, boom, straight in and then gone. See, this this is one of the main reasons why I didn't, uh, didn't train around iron and copper into green circuits in my last mega base. I just did it directly from the miners but yeah there we go there's a second copper train going up so that's copper there so that's offloading and then we got another one filling up on copper right now so we're just continually rolling two trains two copper trains into green circuits it looks like we're continually rolling two iron trains into green circuits as well so there we go there's another one there's another one so we are starting to get to the stage where our depot is actually the next thing that needs to be upgraded. So uh, let's do that. Let's do that for a change. Okay, where do we want to do it? So this whole area for green circuits. Depot, kind of in the middle. Let's get another depot down here somewhere. I kind of feel like a little bit closer to where iron and copper is because those are the guys that really, really need the trains. Oh, God. You, don't, you, don't, you don't have a train yet? You don't have a train? We'll get a train in a second, I'm sure. We definitely need to figure out how to do a second input station. Because just one... Either we need a second input station, or we need to vastly increase the amount we request and that's actually what i'm going to do okay let's let's go and do that uh iron seems to be okay green circuits does not so what we're going to do is we're going to change this to be negative forty-eight thousand, and that'll require three trains i guess so forty-eight thousand. so instead of having a rotating queue of two trains it'll be a rotating queue of few, three trains sending copper so here we go three trains going to uh constantly going to green circuits to drop stuff off to drop copper off and then there's one for iron because we went below 16k and this is actually a perfect ratio 32k and 48k so i feel very happy about that all right let's go and fix up that depot and yeah both of these stations being used uh 
is it actually going to be able to handle three coppers? Because we only got three of these. Oh, we only got two of these. I feel like we can. So one of these trains will leave once it's full, and then immediately a um, a train will get scheduled. So yeah, two copper at the moment. As soon as that gets up to back up to sixteen k, are we not got enough copper? Still got seven point six k as a backlog. Maybe we're starting to push this station too hard again. Uh, no, look at this. You are full. You got stuff full at the background. So the problem is robots. The problem here is robots. We don't have enough robot throughput. Another 2,000. Oh, is that an iron chest? You are an iron chest. You are shit. You are shit. Okay. So it's going to slowly burn them out. But yep. One station being used. Another one just about to finish. And another one already on the way. We got a green circus. That guy was actually waiting. Waiting in the waiting area to drop off copper. That's what I like to see. Trains waiting to drop things off. And then both of these guys, both of these guys are yellow. I love this system so much. I just love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, let's have a quick look around here. These are pretty minuscule, so I'm not gonna do them. Where was that awesome stone area? Here. Right here. Look at that. That's just begging for a stone station so the stone things aren't big i mean look at that it's like a third of this size but yeah still i'll probably just do stone there i think stone is just naturally smaller so let's go across one or two spaces and then put a depot up there ah cancel because there seem to be more interesting things down or up i don't know it's a bit hard to tell here but anyway Go like that. Oh, and I did do some stuff offline. I put a second grid down because we were just running out of power. We may be running out of power again, 2.3 gig. So, well, we are, well, we're using one gig for powering up, but you can see we're using 1.3 gigawatts in terms of pure what we're doing. So smelters are up to 250. Beacons are at 577. That's beastly. We're going to very, very quickly get into the uh, into the realm of having. Um, did I put I put two of these? So there are two things here. Okay, so we can put a depot now. Two is I feel like good enough. One is an absolute minimum to avoid deadlocks, and then two is just you know, it's just nice. This is a nice little bit of breathing space there. Come on, finish it off, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, depot. Mainline depot. And I did have to re-blueprint this at one point because the blueprint I had... Huh. Really? There's a chain signals. Okay, so it doesn't quite work here. Maybe I should put the chain signals up there. Meh, it's fine. It's so good. It's so good. Alright, give me some rails. How many trains have I got? Two, three, four. I think we got enough. Okay. I think we have enough. Now you only need like a hundred, right? I remember correctly, we only put 100 at the other one. What we should do, though, is we should put 200 there because these guys, every now and then, they will need to empty stuff out uh, when the trains go the wrong way. Hopefully it doesn't happen that often, but we'll do that. And we'll go over to our other depot, and you have 100, so put up, that up to 200. I did have that happen once with green circuits, I believe, but... Okay. 
So you are going to be depot dash zero two dash input uranium fuel cells. I'm assuming that's an S at the end. Can't quite see. No, it's not an S. Well, it should be an S. Let's go over and rename the other one. Uh, let's give it a teleporter down first. Uh, teleporter. You are not in range because, of course, I'm running out of power poles. Always, always, always running out of power poles. What else are we missing here? Some of these. Big warehouses. I'm actually building those on them. In the, whatchamacallit, warehouses. Let's just take whatever we can and manually build the fact that they're storage warehouses. Come on. Why have you not got power? Did I miss something in my blueprint? It appears that I did. It appears that I really did. There should be robo ports over on the top side. Did I miss those? Yeah, I think I cut off all that crap at the top. And that missed the power pole as well. Oh, well, we'll sort that out later. Sort it out later. For now, we can just do that. I don't think there was anything else at the other depot that we were really missing. A radar. That's about it. Let's just put a radar down here instead. So you are requesting, you're doing your funky requester to get the things that you need. Okay, so let's get these stations set up. So you are depot 02, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's get all the train set up. And all the cargo wagons set up. And all these good. Alrighty. You got any fuel? You got a little bit of fuel. Okay. Why are you not requesting more? You should be requesting something else, shouldn't you? Huh, buddy? Request more, please. You are in dire need of... There we go, there we go. Don't know why it took so long. Should have requested again. Maybe it's some sort of thing with a low count or something like that. But anyway, let's just wait for another one to go through. These guys have about... Some of them have 12, some of them have 6. That'll be enough for them to run for a fair amount of time. I think the bloody sulfuric acid train has been running for a million years, unlike 50 or something, like a single 50 in each carriage. Anyway, what do we got? Oh, look at all these trains now. There's so many trains. Ah, oh, the ones at the depot are gonna be on the top because it's alphabetical. That sucks. I want the ones that actually go places. Where is the one going to? Depot 2, uranium fuel cells. It's a very fast train, but my base is so big that it takes for ages to get anywhere. Okay. Go to depot zero 02. Time passed. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then. Auto. Auto. Now this is the first time I've ever tried to run a train system where you've got two depots on the same network. I've had two depots on different networks, and by I say, and by the what I mean different networks, I mean just different lines. The lines don't physically connect to each other. Oh, where are you going? You are getting more fuel cells. Awesome. Any of you guys want to head off and do anything? 
Ah, uh, there used to be some. I'd love to see a filter that only showed trains with more than one station. But I guess in the base game, it's kind of a doesn't really make much sense to have a filter like that. It's only for the logistics network sort of deal. Yeah, and because of the way we set this up, it's only going to do one train at a time. It's never going to have multiple trains, I don't think. Oh, it's going to be a pain to find trains on anymore. See, depot too. But anyway, we got a bunch more trains and we got a bunch more things. Base 1.5, still waiting on red circuits. Red circuits, not waiting on anything. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. Do I still have any? No. Well, I had some blue circuits. Ah, this is not a bad place to dump them. Red circuits tends to be a bit slow anyway, so let's take those two and let's just dump them everywhere. Dumpity, 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 dump, 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 dump. There we go. Productivity bonus. We might as well. I mean, eventually we want to put the modules everywhere, so we might as well. 2.3 gigawatts. There we go. Still filling up the accumulators every night. I'm not sure if it's taking longer, but I'm still doing it every night. And productivity modules. I've still got some. Ah, get up there. Get up there. Fill them all up. They're already full. Excellent. These are going to be extremely slow because we don't have any of the beacons with the speed modules yet. Let's go beacon this section up. Are you going to be enough beacons? I have my doubts. No, you are enough beacons. Excellent. So this area just needs speed modules now. And then we will start ripping through things. Absolutely ripping through them. I mean, look at this guy over here. That, considering it takes six seconds, that's like one second. Or one and a half seconds to build an advanced circuit. So we have a look at our red guys. Oh, they got a bit of a jump. A bit of a jump. Building 2.2k per minute, which I'm guessing is... Well, we need 9.2k. But we'll, we'll get there. We'll get the speed modules and we'll get there. At least this is fully done. Like, it's got all the resources it needs right now to be building these guys. So that is the important thing. Let's celebrate by increasing this even more. Uh, yeah, increase. Let's just double it up again. Uh, double? Maybe double? I'm not sure about double again. We'll put it up to a third, and then what we can do is we can double these stacks over, like these three stacks over to somewhere else as well, if we need to. Uh, stack it, so let's... Stack, 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 stack. Okay, thousand of those, throwing them around everywhere. And now we should really see, well that won't go up too much, but... Oh, did I have enough productivity modules for all these guys? Apparently I did. Not enough beacons though. Oh yeah, I still got those. Let's just go over and use them somewhere. Uh, iron plate. Let's just chuck them in there. Iron is one of the core things that we need, so putting productivity modules over here, definitely not a bad idea. Even if it will make some of these guys a bit slower. The productivity bonus, probably worth it. It doesn't actually tell you, yeah, crafting speed 1.4 as opposed to 2. So, yeah, but with a productivity bonus, that's, I don't, just with a productivity module, I think it's probably downside, but yeah so that'll be a lot more red circuits going out a lot faster blue circuits seem to have everything they need which is nice base 1.5 has everything it needs and it's starting to build stuff up again this is what i like to see so now we're just going to do a qu final sanity check on plastic and sulfuric acid barrels you only got 800 barrels okay your light oil has gone down, excellent. Your heavy oil is up to 6k, not so excellent. Uh, really, 6k. Cracking should have kicked in. It's not cracking fast enough. You need to get cracking, buddy. 
<laughs> need to get cracking on cracking. Uh, I might just wait until we get speed modules and then just start putting a bunch in there. In fact, I can probably just get the few that I've built so far and put them here. Oh no, not up there. I wanted the speed modules down here. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, just to speed these guys up just a little bit. Just to crack a little bit heavier. We could put another set of these machines. I could do it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll do it. I will do it. I'm going to start heading off to the right here. Expanding it this way. We were going to have to expand off to the right at some point, so now we will. And in fact... Uh, we're out of all sorts of pipe related things. And okay, I think that's how we're going to finish the episode off. So that'll get heavy oil cracking up to scratch. Um, mostly up to scratch. We'll, we'll start running out of barrels here. Now... I'm just going to manually transport barrels here, but at some point I will probably set up a steel station to come over here and deliver steel so this station can make its own barrels. Because as we expand it, we're going to need more and more barrels. That's just going to be a thing. So sulfuric so acid, 5.3k. Still good. 4.4k. Still good. Okay, so that's fine. And there we go. There we go, we are absolutely beautiful. So I think we are going to leave it there and we are going to say goodbye for now and I'm going to go make some lunch and watch a movie and do some other cool stuff. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, next episode is going to be interesting. Let's have a look at green circuits. Continuously got all the stuff it needs, pretty much. It's got stuff in the backlog. It's... Throwing stuff continuously, we might need to... Well, let's have a look. What's base 1.5? Red circuits. Red circuits. What do you need? More machines with more speed modules. So that's this is kind of our backlog right here, or the, our backup, the thing that's backing us up. And it's just it's just might be needing to be a ton of machines, or a ton of these guys anyway. We might just need to build a ton more machines and just say, there you go, there's a ton more machines. That is definitely a possibility that we might have to do because I don't know what else to do here. But red circuits are definitely slow as. They're definitely slow as. And they seem to have enough inputs, sort of, green circuits. There should be another train coming, but obviously green circuits take a while. So anyway, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. And next episode, we will be doing some stuff to try and make this base work faster because we need to have a very, very steadily flowing amount of these speed modules coming in. And this is probably better than I've ever had in any previous game, to be honest. Like, oh, well, sort of. We're building nine of these per minute, 15 of these per minute. I think, well, let's put it this way. We've never been in a situation where I've had 10 level 3 machines running all at the same time. Never. The most I've probably got up to is like 2. I think 2 or 3, maybe. Although my previous mega base maybe was like 4 or 5. But they were running, like, yeah, that was painful. We've never had 10. So having 10 is massive. And the fact that they are fully running is massive. So they're going to stop running because they're going to be out of red circuits in a sec. But anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you guys later.